Welcome back to review time here at the X Lounge. Today, as you can see, is the 1951 Henry J. Gasser by Ravel. Doink! So, I haven't opened this kit yet. We're going to do that together. Look at the sides. Uh, Revel likes to put uh, some features of the actual. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Some features of the kit on the side here, such as uh, uh, the length of it, the number of parts, what what it's mold, what color it's molded in, uh, and then over here uh, some of the paints that you're going to need. So here we have the other side. Got a few pictures of a of a kit that's been built by somebody else and the sides are the same as the cover art so we'll dig in what's on the back oh it just talks about skill level okay we're in uh, we'll look at now oh, we we'll might as well look at it as we go So here we have the body and some tires. I've always liked to store tires separately because you've opened ancient kits from the past and found a tire on the windshield and it has melted through the you know through the plastic either of the windshield or of the frame itself. So I'll be bagging these up separately. There's some there's some pretty fat slicks that it comes with and uh, some really narrow front wheels. They've got lettering on them, Pirelli's. Uh, no lettering on the back, but there is a ring there. If you wanted to white wall those yourself, that ring could act as a little dam for your white paint or whatever color paint. Okay, so here's the body. Looks pretty nice. Uh, I'm not even, oh, there's a little bit of a seam there. There's enough of a lip there to get a good to get a good knife edge on for cutting your bare metal foil. Not bad. So according to uh, scalemates.com, this kit has been around since 69. So these molds are fairly old. I don't know how many, you know, they've they've pushed out. So we'll see what they look like here. Fenders and hood are separate because it's a flip nose. There's the interior. Uh, there's a little bit of texture there for foot pads. There are no push marks. They're all on the bottom where they can be easily removed and hidden. Um, this says 1984. Perhaps they freshened things up in 84. So there is the seat and the dashboard and some more fender parts there. Here we have the, the tubular frame. Engine parts, wheel rims, shocks french old bucket seats next up is the interesting uh, interior panels I like that there's the doors and our radiator some hinges for the doors we'll see how that works out uh, I've only done a few hinge doors and I've ended up making using my own using my own hinges. Uh, here's an interesting thing. This is the other side of the door panels. It's got uh, like a... I don't know, I forget what they call that. A 
so I guess these are reversible because the pictures on the outside of the box showed that first pattern I showed you. The chrome. A lot of chrome engine parts there. There's a foot-shaped uh, gas pedal. Those are always fun. A little chunky on the chrome over here on the on the on the rims there. Okay, that's all the parts. Uh, there, uh oh, there's the windshield. They give you a flat sheet of plastic for that. Okay. And the decals, there's the decals. Somewhat exposed. So we've got a couple different names there, the Orange Whip or the Swift Henry. And some seatbelt decals, some dashboard stuff. Uh, I guess that's fender dirt. Some a uh, couple of sponsors, some racing uh, information there, and some pinstripes and some other stickers you get with parts. That's pretty extensive. And the instructions are a little bit, a little bit fat. Gives you a name of all the parts, so you learn what your car parts are. Uh, there's a template for the. There's a template for the. For the for the window glass. Okay, here's a tidbit about the the interior uh, panels. They are reversible. So there's a straight axle and those leaf springs for the front. Engine with headers and whatnot. That front, I guess you would call that the front clip. I don't know. So that is it. It is a tight little race car, isn't it? I like everything on these, on the Henry J's, except for this little tail flip right there. So, I mean, I might be interested in pulling that off, taking that off. But we'll see when the time comes. Okay, so that's it for Ravel's 1951 Henry J. Uh, looks to be a fun kit. Um, I don't anticipate there being too much customization. I like it the way that it is. Uh, apart from maybe cutting off that that little bit of a hook at the end of the that little bit of a fin there. For whatever reason, I don't I don't like it, but that's not it's certainly not Ravel's problem. That's Henry J's problem, and not anymore. So, grab yourself one today. It's a pretty good example of a gasser from back in the day, and you don't see these kits too often. They they've been around, like I said, since 1969. I think there's been uh, maybe four or five different releases of it. And who knows when the next one will be. So, I like to grab them when I see them. So thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you would like. Hit that little bell next to the subscription button and you will be notified when our next video comes out. Thanks for watching.